Hey YouTube. Uh, so I've been carrying this Benchmade Infidel. It's an automatic out the front uh, pocket knife for uh, I buy it? Yeah, a little over a year ago. And I've got to say I'm pretty happy with it. It is a little pricey, I will say that. Uh, but if you're looking for an automatic uh, out the front uh, blade, this will yeah, it'll do the job. Not like I use it for anything tactical, it's just for daily, you know, something I carry for, you know, uh, just every day, your typical EDC. I will say it's a little bit uh, long, uh, but I did want that, and I do like the... The dagger style blade and what really drew me to it was I was looking for something where it's easy to get in and out and the automatic knife of course it's fast uh, but you know I look for other benchmade knives and that S30V is what caught my eye I've had really great luck with it and I really like it so I saw the two and two together I was like sure why not give it a try so this is a it does say it's a limited edition I think this color and blue and the Infidel model. Yes, yeah, it's limited edition designed by Mick Henry. Yeah. Uh, don't really care about the limited edition fact. I like the blue because uh, I do wear blue jeans a lot and it does blend in. So even with this part a little sticking out. And it, it is pretty slick right here. It's aluminum. Uh, but you got the ridges on this side. So I like the button on this uh, on the side rather than the top part I think there was someone who was helping me and they were carrying a uh, was it blade tech and that's what they owned and carried and they had the button out here however mm -hmm. I prefer with the clip it sits like this in your pocket that when you slide it out your thumb is naturally already in this position to to bring the blade out and to activate the switch. So I kind of like that. It was just a very natural movement as it sits in your pocket. You So it'll be sitting like this, like, yeah. And as you draw it out, then your thumb is already there and voila. So I did take it apart. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna do that now, but it is fairly simple take these screws off and you have two sets of springs one for the retract one for extend and it's, that's really all it is is a triggering mechanism you know you use one set of springs and it's not meant to you know go into so if, if I know some people might think that but I'll just poke it into this plastic box real quick and you'll see that it's not meant to pierce anything so it actually it stops and can call it a safety mechanism if you want but there's barely a little dent in this plastic box and when that happens you just put it to the out position you gotta flick you flick it out lock it in place and then it goes back to working so every once in a while you know I'll just take a little bit of silicone and put a dab on the blade just to wipe it off so it's to a matte dry just to keep it clean and slick uh, but I looked at the inter internal mechanisms, you know, stainless steel parts and springs and uh, pretty simple and durable as you would expect from Benchmade, which is, you know, for my other reviews, until they give me a reason to look elsewhere, I will continue to look at Benchmade and not to just follow it blindly, but, you know, I tend to shop by brands and they have a great warranty. So it is a quality built knife and it's well machined. Uh, like I said, this part's a little slick, but you know, you're going to be grabbing it over here. So you have these parts where it's to help you kind of, it's a hand stop, finger stop, whatever you want to call it. But typically you're just going to be holding it as it comes out right here. And that's why all these ridges are here. Uh, these, you can see the steps. So it does hold your finger really well. You can feel it almost here as it runs along the, rid the ridges of my, when my finger does. So, yeah, pretty quick. Uh, like I said, it's pretty pricey though. Uh, I believe it was somewhere in the neighborhood of $500. Might be cheaper now, but 
yeah, that's what it was before when I bought it. But no, nope, I don't mind. Uh, it's like I said, it's it's quality product that I take care of and I carry with me. And it might not be right for you. I would say either if you don't like the color, I understand. But like I said, my blue jeans, it does blend really well, the blue and black. And it's this, uh, what is it? If you don't like a dagger style for some reason, but, you know, sometimes you can use the back of a knife, you know, uh, for something. This one, you won't have that flat part, uh, the spine of the blade there, if you want to knock something or what have you. But, I don't know, it's just something different. I like it. Uh, you know, it's a knife. You know, not much to say about it. It works. Uh, and like I said, the S30V uh, steel from Benchmade, it's, it's been a quality blade. It's corrosion resistant, uh, easy to keep sharp, and sharpens up really well. So it's not super hard like D2. Uh, so, yep, I like it. Mm, yeah, but like I said, the only thing is that... It's a little long, so some some pants with smaller pockets or a shallower pocket, this, uh, you might, when you kind of crouch down or bench down, you might feel it hit your leg and it might pop out just slightly. I don't think you'll lose it, but uh, it is a bit longer just because you're dealing with the mechanisms inside and the blade. Uh, let's see how long it is. Let's see, whole thing is about, what are we at? It looks like almost eight and three quarters. And about four and three quarters with it uh, retracted. So, yeah, this one with... Most pairs of pants in my front pocket, jean pockets, it'll be just fine. But like I said, I have noticed sometimes when I do crouch down, I can feel it on my leg versus my other Benchmade uh, Griptilian, or especially the Mini Griptilian. You know, it's, you know, you hardly know that it's there. So, only downside, if uh, I would say that that would be, it's, it's just the, yeah, the bare handle is a bit longer, so... But if you're okay with it, uh, it's a pretty cool color, you know. And I don't know if they even still offer it. I guess it says because it's limited edition, but I'm sure you can still find it somewhere online. But any of the automatic stuff, I mean, just it feels just uh, really solid. Love that button, you know, to get good good grip on it, you know, wet or dry. So like I said, I just didn't like the uh, the top button. I prefer the side, and just because it's a more natural because. If you were to pull this on the flat part out, you know, then you'd have to transition either, you know, your thumb on top over here. And so essentially you're just turning the knife 45 degrees and then turning it to activate it uh, versus this one where you're pulling it out of your pocket and your hand just slides kind of right there. It's almost like, you know, the holsters that have that, the safety button where that safety button to pull out the holster where it locks it in is already in the position that your finger should be is somewhere close to the slide rather than on the trigger as you're sl as you're pulling it out of a holster so kind of the same principle i feel about with this knife as well so yeah if you have any questions let me know uh but yeah that's the uh the benchmade infidel by benchmade all right thanks bye